Cheers, y'all. Happy Sunday. Okay, I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway and get it the hell out of it out of the way. A couple of people know, and I figure rumor get around. Anyways, I've been having some health issues, and that's why I've been pretty much gone from uh, social media the last couple of months. Uh, I started having a lot of problems coughing. I mean, hell, I've, I've smoked for 50 years, so you expect a little cough, but this was a, a strange cough, and I did a lot of it. And I was choking on a lot of foods that I've been eating my whole life. I'm choking on a fucking pea or a piece of corn, man. I'm like, what the hell? So, uh, I had to go to these doctors, and then I had to go to these tests, and then these doctors, and these tests. And they took about 7,000 gallons of blood out of me two different times. I did uh, what you call an uh, ultrasound, is that what it is? The one time, yeah. Well, they did it two or three times. But I did a couple of ultrasounds, a bunch of fucking blood work. And they found some bumps on my thyroid on my right side and the doctor said that's normally a sign of cancer. So he's going to give me what they call a, a needle biopsy. I don't know what the fuck it is because I stay away from doctors. He said basically we just stick a needle in you, in your neck and pull out some fluid. I said okay. So I went in there to get that done and uh, I sat down there in the bed and there's this tray next to me and like, my God, Terry, you see all these needles and syringes? There's like seven or eight of them. I said, I think he's going to stick me one time. What the hell? So, anyways, he comes in and uh, makes me lay on this bed with my head back, way to hell back behind my body. I could deep throat an elephant the way he had me. And I'm like, what the hell, dude? So I had to lay there for ten minutes like that. And he sticks this needle in me and my neck. And uh, I don't know if he if it hit me two or three different times with that needle. Uh, really, I just felt the needle one time, and it really wasn't no big deal. I mean, uh, it's because he numbed your neck. Well, anyways, I wish he would have numbed more of me and that laying with my head back the way it was. But anyways, I had to wait on those tests to come back, and those tests came back uh, inconclusive. So they don't know if I have cancer or not. And he's like, well, you can have this shit done again and or you can go get a second opinion or you can just come back and see me in four months well when he stuck the needle in there he took out a whole shitload of fluid out of my thyroid and I know ever since then I haven't been coughing near as much and I ain't choking on my food anymore so but that's where I've been uh, I just uh, like I said I've told a couple of people and I figure by now uh, several people's heard about it so I just want you to let you know you know I'm feeling good I'm drinking beer I'm fixing to cook now so what we're gonna do today is something different I don't know if it's gonna work or not but I'm gonna try it I got me some Geta if you're not familiar with Geta it's a Cincinnati based product it's basically a Cincinnati version of uh, Boudin the way I think of it because Boudin ain't nothing but pig and rice and seasonings Geta is pig and oats in seasoning. And uh, you fry this up and eat it with eggs in the morning for breakfast and make sandwiches with it. It's good stuff. Terry don't care for it, but I like it. Uh, I got the hot version here. Over here I got half of a large onion I chopped up. Got two good sized garlic cloves. I sweated them down in some olive oil and some uh, just a little bit of salt and some black pepper. And then when it was sweated down enough, I added just about a shot of uh, bourbon to it. And uh, I didn't flambe it or nothing. I just let the bourbon cook out. I turned it off, let it set, so this is cool. Here's the other half of the onion. And here I got about, uh, about four ounces of shredded cheese. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut my ghetto open. I got my oven set at 350. That's what ghetto looks like. Just like a 
like a Cincinnati boudin. Crumb this up a bit. And it's, uh, I think they're steel rolled oats that they use. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if anybody eats this other than you and Jeff. Cincinnati people's, but no. Uh, D.W. brings this down to me and Jeff and Greg when he comes down. Oh. And uh, D.W. brought this down to Moonshine's one year, and uh, we were down there for the J.B.'s Crawfish Boil, and uh, we did uh, Ghetto Balls. Yeah. Those are pretty tasty. So we'll put the cheese in there. And then we'll put the onions in here. These are the raw onions. And this stuff is kind of messy when you fool with it. But that's alright. I'm going to wash my hands in a minute. And then we'll put our uh, onions and garlic that we sauteed in there. A little bit of a uh, bourbon I got my oven set at 350 so let me get this mixed up we got our peppers here I'm gonna put them in the peppers and then we'll be back okay got my pepper stuffed get a cheese and onions I'm gonna put a little bit of water here in this pan We're going to go in a 350 degree oven, I'm thinking 90 minutes, and right before it's ready to come out, I'll look at it. I may decide to put some Brooks ketchup on the top, I don't know yet, we'll see. So, we'll be back in about 90 minutes, and see what we come up with. Be back in a few. Okay, it's been just a little over an hour, and uh, I decided instead of ketchup, I'm going to use this Coakley's barbecue sauce. I got just a little bit left, so I'm gonna put that on there. And we'll see what happens. And I'll put this back in the oven for another 30 minutes or so. And we got me some peas and pearl onions cooking. We're gonna have that with this. And uh, that's what supper's gonna be. Well, use the rest of this because I ain't much in there. If y'all never got had no Coakley's, get online, look up Coakley's barbecue sauce. I swear it's the best in the world. The best I ever ate, anyway. So, there you go. Back in the oven for another 30, then we'll be back. Show you a plate. All right, that's what I ended up with. And there's oats in here, so I don't need to make no potatoes or rice or pasta or nothing. Cut into this and see what we got. Cheese melted anyway. So, let me give this filling a little taste, see what happens. It looks hot. It is hot. You think it just came out of the oven? Oh, that's good. Hmm. Terry probably won't agree with me because she doesn't like ghetto, but oh, that's really good. And this is the hot version. They make a mild version, but I like the hot. That cheese really works in there. Mmm. This is really good, man. If y'all can get Gadda, do what I did here. This is really good. 
I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really liking this. Well, hurry up and finish that. I gotta go watch a race. Y'all have a good one. And we'll see you next time.